Okay, so the question that I'm going to be answering in this video is which hydrogen is most acidic between these two molecules? And I underline the hydrogen that I'm going to be talking about. And the way you tackle questions like this is just by knowing that the most acidic molecule is going to have the most stable conjugate base. So you begin these problems by just drawing the conjugate base of the molecules that you're examining. And we do this on both of them. And you just pretty much imagine that a base comes in and takes away this hydrogen. And that's going to leave the atom with a negative charge and a lone pair. And you do this to both of them and you see that you're stuck with a carbon with a formal charge of negative one, which it has because it's now surrounded by five electrons. You get one, two, two for each hydrogen, and then one for this bond. And so that doesn't really tell you too much, but you should know that you should always be looking for resonance structures. And there's a pretty obvious one in both of these because you have this lone pair and then it's attached to an atom with, that's involved in a double bond. So what you can do is bring in this lone pair and then kick that out and then you pretty much transfer the negative charge from this atom to that one or in this one it goes from this carbon to that carbon. And now you see that this molecule on the left has a negative charge that's split between two carbon atoms, whereas this molecule on the right has a negative charge that's split between a carbon atom and an oxygen atom. And because oxygen is more electronegative than carbon, it's going to handle that negative charge better, so it's going to be more stable. So back to the original question, the most stable conjugate base, or the, atom, the molecule with the most stable conjugate base, is the most acidic. And because of that, this guy right here is the most acidic hydrogen.